On June 17, 2015, the Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina, was attacked during a prayer service by Dylan Roof, a 21-year-old white supremacist. Dylan Roof shot and killed nine African Americans in this historical church. Dylan Roof pleaded guilty with nine counts of murder, three counts of attempted murder, and a weapon charge for the massacre that took place in Charleston, South Carolina. But what was his reasons for this violent act, and what does it have to do with the Ku Klux Klan? During trial, Dylan Roof considered himself a white supremacist, and then continued to say, Our people are superior, that's just a fact. Roof admitted to his acts, stating that he had done research on the church and Charleston before committing these acts. Roof was known to be active in white supremacist groups, one being the KKK. The Ku Klux Klan, often referred to as KKK or the White Brotherhood, is a group of white Protestant Americans of both genders that believe that their race and religion is superior to those of others. The KKK acts against these groups with violence in a quest to fulfill what they believe is God's word. They are most active in the states of Mississippi, South Carolina, and Texas, as they parade around threatening people who support foreign religions and ideas such as immigration. The Ku Klux Klan is known to especially target African Americans, enraged by the freedom of slaves in the Civil War in 1866. The Klan was founded in Pulaski, Tennessee by a group of previous slave owners. The KKK was strongest at its peak in the 1920s when the movie The Birth of a Nation came out and an influx of 4 million people were recruited. The Great Depression later caused the depletion of their ranks. This group is known for their white robes and triangle hoods that set them apart from the everyday citizen. This image has become a huge symbol of the Klan and creates a self-identity for the Klansmen. Within the Klansmen, colors usually define positions and their ranking within their group. Green robes commonly indicate state leaders, known as Grand Dragons, while black robes indicate Nighthawks, clan members in charge of security in the rest of the group. The leaders, also called Imperial Wizards, are, have a variety of colors ranging from red to blue to purple. Clan members may also have an assortment of stripes, sashes, and emblems on their robes, indicating their positions. KKK have been engaged in various forms of terrorism, including murder, lynching, bombing, and even arson. They aren't known for targeting specific individuals. Instead, they target larger groups of people. In 1964, three civil rights workers, Andrew Goodman, Michael Scherner, and James Chang, were attacked and shot dead with the cooperation of local police in Meridian, Mississippi. In 1963, there was a bombing on the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama, where four girls were killed. This bombing led to President Johnson's decision to sign the Civil Rights Act of 1964. That same year, there was an assassination of NAACP organizer Medgar Evers. On April 20, 1871, the Republicans passed the anti Ku Klux Klan outlaw on Democratic terrorist groups. President Ulysses Grant Congress passed the Ku Klux Klan Act, also known as the Third Enforcement Act. The bill was designed to give the federal authority more power to protect voters in election times. It established fines and jail time for penalties to anyone who deprives citizens from equal protection and to uphold civil rights. This act, specifically targeted towards the KKK, was sought to secure democratic victories by acting Republican voters and black voters. Targeting unfamiliar religions with courage and tackling obstacles with violence, the Ku Klux Klan mainly targeted the southern part of the United States. This map details all the areas where the KKK have terrorized people and committed crimes. Interestingly, after the peak of members in the 1920s and its gradual downfall, the amount of members spiked again during Barack Obama's election and years of president. The KKK took advantage of his presidency to recruit members and saw it as an opportunity to mobilize people into their group. Thomas Robb, the national director of the KKK, claims that every time the television shows an image of Barack Obama, it will be a reminder that our people have lost power in this country. To their advantage, they are able to recruit almost triple the amount of members they had during George Washington's year of presidency. Regardless of their peak in the 1920s and still active today, studies show that their members and attackers are progressively decreasing. 
According to Sado Poverty Law Center, from 2012 to 2013, there was a 70% decrease of members, the largest drop they've seen in 